All right, this session is going to be on <coughs> XML data binding. And what is binding? It's any time you combine XML uh, with SQL. So you're either pulling SQL uh, data from a SQL table into an XML format, or you are pushing XML out and getting it combined with a table. Uh, so binding SQL to XML, I uh, use cross-apply function uh, to kind of have it look at whatever it's in and using nodes and values to pull specific levels of XML and either the, the values or attributes uh, out of the XML. And to bind the SQL into XML, uh, use XPath on the XML that you're selecting from. And you can use the, uh, the flower, the forelet, with order by return logic to iterate over the XML. Uh, you can include custom tags to kind of create a whole new XML set in the output. And you can reference the SQL columns down here with SQL colon and the column name on demos. So we'll drop and create the database here. We'll have a simple table uh, with uh, nine or 10 uh, XML entries in it. So run that table. So we can see here we've got eight rows, you know, pretty simple XML in each one, and some non-XML values. Run this. We can see here that we selected from the table and we did a cross apply on one of the columns. To create a new XML node. All right, joining SQL to XML. We're going to select from that our table, and this is the uh, the column with the XML in it. And we're saying only pull out the the item level, and then using the the flower method, which will iterate over all of them. Say for for i at every uh, every node at this level at the item level, return that level and the name. We can see here that it returned the name node. <clears throat> and this, we can add a custom tag in there. We wrap it, wrap that statement in curly braces and then put the tag outside. You can see here it's still XML. And it looks just like the other one, but now has our custom tag on it. Now we're going to do it again. Uh, we have our iteration right there. And we have the custom tags around it, item tag, item tag. And we're going to include one of the other columns in the vendor imports, vendor item imports table, like the just the identity field, by including the curly braces, SQL colon, and the column name. So you can see that's a way to let's see. Let's select from the table again. Come here. It's a way to pull out a certain node level and then include another uh, SQL table column value and custom tags to create a whole new XML set. So that's, that's data binding in a nutshell. Slides and scripts are available on the site. <clears throat>